Today's video is sponsored by nobility.co.uk The leading company in selling legal titles in the United Kingdom. Get a 10% discount in any purchase by mentioning death row. There are currently 184 people on Texas's death row, including seven women. This is the smallest Texas death row population since 1985, when 188 people awaited execution. As death sentences in Texas decline, they continue to be applied disproportionately to people. Over the last five years, more than 70% of death sentences have been imposed on black people. The state of Texas has executed 584 people since 1982. Of these, 279 occurred during the administration of Texas Governor Rick Perry 2001-2014, more than any other governor in U.S. history. Texas has put six people to death to date in 2023 as of October 13, 2023. The execution dates of three other men were withdrawn. Four of the six men executed this year were black or Hispanic. Currently, Texas has three executions scheduled over the next five weeks. All three men have spent more than two decades on death row. Harris County alone accounts for 133 executions, more than any state except Texas. Dallas County accounts for 65 executions, Bexar County for 46, and Tarrant County for 45. Since 1973, 195 individuals who spent time on death row have been exonerated, according to the Death Penalty Information Center. This includes 16 people convicted and sentenced to death in Texas. There also is strong evidence that the state of Texas has executed innocent people, including Carlos De Luna, Ruben Cantu, Cameron Todd Willingham, Gary Graham, and Larry Swearingen, who was put to death in August 2019. Eleven states, Colorado, Delaware, New York, New Jersey, New Mexico, Illinois, Connecticut, Washington, Maryland, New Hampshire, and, most recently, Virginia, have abandoned the death penalty in recent years through legislative or judicial action. A total of 23 states and the District of Columbia do not allow the death penalty. Governors in three other states have imposed a moratorium on executions, bringing the total number of states that have either ended the death penalty or have a moratorium to 26 states. 112 countries have abolished the death penalty for all crimes. According to Amnesty International, China, Iran, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and the United States accounted for the most known executions in 2022. It remains difficult to obtain exact numbers in many countries. The newest person on Texas death row is Chavez Facundo, his prison number is 9996299. Chavez, Facundo was born August 5, 1991. Native of New Mexico. On August 9, 2023, after deliberating for nearly 10 hours, an El Paso County jury sentenced Facundo Chavez to death for the murder of El Paso Sheriff Deputy Peter Herrera in 2019. It is the first death sentence in El Paso since 2014. The trial, which began on July 26, is being held in the Criminal District Court 1 at the Enrique Moreno County Courthouse in downtown El Paso. Chavez was accused of brutally shooting and beating Herrera during a traffic stop about 1.50 a.m. on March 22, 2019 in the 1000 block of Chicken Ranch Road, near Socorro Road in San Elizario. Herrera pulled over Chavez and his girlfriend, Arlene Pnia, over for two traffic violations. The violations were from failing to dim high beam headlights and improperly displaying a temporary license plate permit. 
Herrera asked Chavez to stop of the vehicle. He got out of the car and immediately pulled out a handgun and shot at Herrera. Chavez fired about 15 rounds from the handgun at Herrera at point-blank range before the gun then jammed. Chavez then began beating Herrera with the gun. The couple fled the scene as Herrera lay mortally wounded and in a pool of his own blood. Another arrived at the scene and began performing first aid on Herrera to try to stop the bleeding. Herrera was then taken to Del Sol Medical Center. Herrera died at the hospital two days later. Chavez and Pena were later found by U.S. Border Patrol agents hiding in a shed on the property of a nearby house, according to testimony. The graphic videos from Herrera's body camera and patrol vehicle's dashboard camera, along with another deputy's body camera, during the shooting were shown to jurors several times throughout the trial. Chavez took the stand twice during the trial and confessed to the crime during his testimony. I shot Deputy Herrera. I beat him with a gun, Chavez testified. Pena was originally charged with capital murder. However, the charge was reduced to manslaughter in a plea deal made with former El Paso District Attorney Yvonne Rosales. Pena is serving a 15-year prison sentence. Chavez, Facundo, is currently at Texas death row awaiting execution. This situation could change due to appeals. Thank you for watching Death Row.